What we're going to do now is install the Active Directory directory services onto our Server 2008 machine. And what this is going to do, first of all, since we don't have any kind of forest setup, the first thing it's going to do is going to be creating a forest for us. So that's going to be the basis of our particular forest. Now, by set by being the first domain controller in the forest, this is going to take up all of the, uh, if you want to use 2003, server 2003 terms, this is going to take all the FISMO roles. If you want to use the 2008 terms, it's going to be taking on the operational master roles. So this is going to be the first domain controller in our forest. It's also going to be the first domain controller in our tree. So let's go ahead and install uh, Active Directory uh, directory services on this machine and create a uh, domain for us. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to Server Manager and there's a couple ways you can get to Server Manager. You have the little ta uh, the bottom of the taskbar right here, the little button, or you can go to Administrative Tools, however you want. Server Manager is right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to install roles onto this machine. So we just click on roles, we wait for the roles to populate, and if you notice, there's only one role installed on this particular machine, and that's a web server, IIS. Notice how we don't have any kind of DNS running. So what we're going to do is we're going to add roles. And this is just the add world, roles wizard. We're going to go to next. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Active Directory directory services. And what this is going to do is this is going to prep uh, our machine and make sure it's ready to have uh, directory, uh, Active Directory directory services installed on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Next. And we're going to click Next again. And this is just giving you a hint that we may, uh, the server may need to be restarted after the installation can, uh, completes. Uh, and this, once again, this is only uh, setting up the directory domain services. We're still going to have to promote this machine into a domain controller later on. So let's install the Active Directory domain services first. And we'll just let this install now. Now, this may take a little bit. So through the magic of editing, uh, it, we're gonna, it's, you're going to see it uh, a very fast lapse in time. It's not going to be this quick uh, normally to install Active Directory Domain Services. So you can see right here that Active Directory Domain Services has been installed successfully. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to promote this uh, server now into a domain controller itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on close this wizard and launch the Active Directory Domain Services installation wizard. Or uh, if you're used to some of the older instances of server to, of uh, Microsoft Server, the dcpromo.exe command. So we're going to double click on this. And you can see now the Active Directory Domain Service installation wizard comes up. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a domain controller for us. Now, this is just a little system telling us about the operating system compatibility. And it's telling you that improved security settings in Server 2008 affect older versions of Windows. So you're going to have different functionality levels that you can choose. If you choose the most recent one, Server 2008 functionality level, you're going to have all of the tools that are available to you in this instance of a domain controller. However, if you're going to have some older operating systems, perhaps functioning as backup domain controllers or alternate domain controllers, they're not going to be, they may not recognize some of the tools that are available uh, in this instance of Server 2008. So as you're choosing uh, as you're choosing the roles, you want to really be careful to see what other instances of, or what other versions of the operating systems are running on your servers. So here it's asking us to choose a deployment configuration. If we already have an existing force and we want to add either an existing, an existing domain control to an existing domain or to create a new domain in, in an existing force, we would choose this. However, since this is the first machine in a new forest, we're going to be creating a new domain in a new forest. So we're going to click on that and go next. And what we're going to do now is type in the fully qualified domain name of the forest root domain. So this is going to, we're just going to call this security plus dot class. So this is the domain name and this is 
um, the uh, domain suffix right there. And we're going to go to next. And what it's doing now, it's checking the network to see if there's already a uh, fully qualified domain name of a forest on there already. And there isn't, so it brought us to the next level. So here, here's what we were talking about earlier, the forest functionality level. Now let's take a look at the details. The 2000 forest functionality level provides all Active Directory domain features that are available in 2000 server. Now if you're running later versions of server, some of the advanced features if you're using this functionality level aren't going to be available. Why? Because it's making it compatible with anything of this particular version. And there's three function levels you can choose. Server 2000, 2003, or 2008. Obviously, if you're going to be using Server 2003, the uh, minimum functionality you can have would be Server 2003. A Server 2000 machine, a uh, domain controller running on, to, on a ser to Server 2003 forest, isn't going to be able to recognize all those tools. Well, since we're going to be running ex exclusively with Server 2008, uh, we're going to choose that as the higher functionality level because we want to be able to utilize all the, uh, all the bells and whistles that uh, Microsoft made available to Server 2008. So let's choose that for us functionality level and go to Next. So now what it's saying here is select additional options for this domain controller. Now, it, we, it took a look and it said it could not find a DNS server because we don't have one yet. So what it's going to do, it's going to install DNS onto this machine. And then take a look at the additional information. The first domain controller in a forest must be a global catalog server. Okay, and it cannot be a read-only domain controller. So it has to be a full read it has to be a full read and writable copy of the active directory do, uh, of the active directory database. It can't be read only. So this particular machine is going to have the full operations master mode as well as have a full read and write copy of the active directory database. Let's go to next. It's telling us right here, uh, delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found or it does not run Windows DNS. So what it's saying is uh, we need to create a DNS infrastructure for us. So we're going to click yes because we do want to continue. And this is uh, the location of the database where it's going to be stored. Normally you would want to keep it off of the C drive and put it to it, perhaps like an external drive so you can access it later on. We're going we're gonna to keep it to its uh, default. Now it's asking us for a directory services restore administrative password. This is in case uh, your, your domain controller fails and you need to restore your uh, Active Directory database. This is the password it's going to be prompting you for. So this is, you have to make sure that you do remember this password. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to restore your Active Directory database if you need to. So let's go to next. Here's a little summary, and we're going to check that out. Everything looks good. Okay, it's going to be a domain, it's going to be um, a global catalog. It's not going to be a read only domain controller, and it's also going to be the DNS server. It's asking us to create D, uh, if we create DNS delegations. We said no. It's telling us that the DNS server will be installed on this computer. It's going to be configured on this computer, and the computer will be configured to use this DNS server as preferred DNS server. So we're going to uh, click next because everything looks good. And now it's installing the Active Directory database. So as you can see, we do have our Active Directory, uh, Directory Domain Services installed. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Finish. And it's going to prompt us to restart now. And I'm not actually going to restart now. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the steps it would take to create a domain controller. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Do Not Restart Now. I'm going to close Server Manager. And I'm going to show you you can see that some of the Active Directory tools were loaded, although because we, we, because we did not restart yet, um, they're not available to us. But once we do restart, uh, we will be able to access 
uh, these tools. So that's how you create a domain controller. Uh, first of all, this was the first domain controller in the forest, so it did have the operation master's role installed on them. And um, what happens now is that now that we have the domain controller, we can actually have computers join our domain.